Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over how you can retrofit TPMS sensors in the TPMS function, which is um, tire pressure monitor system for free on the BMW E46. Before I get into today's video, I just wanna mention that I am gonna be um, going over the winner of the giveaway from the Bimland Performance LED um, kit for the interior and exterior. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find that out. All right, so let's get started. So how are you gonna retrofit TPMS sensors and a whole system for free on a BMW E46? Well, what we're gonna do is, it's not actually um, having sensors per every single wheel. It's having your wheel speed sensors calculate if one wheel is spinning faster than the other or slower. And if it's spinning faster or slower, um, it's then gonna put a light on your dash saying, okay, one of your tires are low. And this system is called RPA. It's pretty easy to retrofit. The other one is RDC, which is actually using sensors in the wheel, and it's very expensive and a huge pain. So we're going to be doing this easy retrofit. And all you need to do this is a working copy of NCX Expert and IMPA. And if you don't have those working, I'll have an annotation, a card showing you. I'll put a link down in the description of my video of how to install NCX Expert and IMPA. And this is the same exact installer that I have running on my computer right now. So you'll have the same exact software that I have, same version and everything. You should be able to follow along. Couple things before we get started. Um, I do recommend checking your, all your tires and making sure they're all around the rated PC, uh, PSI for your car because we are going to be calibrating the system with these numbers. And if the numbers are off, if the speed sensors are off now, then it's going to um, always say you have, it's not going to tell you you have low tires. And one other thing is that this system, you can also retrofit uh, the, the TPMS button if you would like, so you can reset the system when you do have to calibrate. It's basically a calibration button. I'm not going to do that only because it is a huge pain. You've probably seen E46s that have a button right where your, um, your traction control and heated seats are. There's a button down there. Let me show you guys real quick. So you probably have seen E46s that have the button right here, but because I have a strip, I'd have to buy a whole new strip and it's just a pain. And then you have to run the cable to the MK60 module and through the foot. Well, it's a huge pain and I'm just gonna use IMPA to reset it and calibrate it every single time. So uh, that's really it for this. What we have to do is just, we have to code the, code the car, couple of lines. Um, I think there's four or five lines we have to code in two different modules. And then bam, you'll have it. It'll show up right on your dash right here. I'll show you when I actually calibrate it. That'll be a light right up here showing and it'll go on amber or red when you um, have a low tire. But it, the only um, downfall is it doesn't necessarily tell you which one, it just lets you know. But still, it's better than nothing and I've wanted this and it's a cool little retrofit that you can do for free. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, everyone. Now you wanna make sure that you have your input cable plugged into your laptop. USB in connected and make sure that you have the other end of the um, OBD2 port plugged into your car's OBD2 port and then the final thing is just make sure that your car is turned to position 2. And now I'm going to switch to screen recording so I can show you guys what to do inside of Input and NCS Expert. Alright, so now that you have your cable connected to your, to your car and to the laptop, let's make sure we have a connection. To do this, we're just going to open Impa. And you can see it says cable detected, ignition on. So we're all set. So now we can close that. And then now we want to open NCS Expert. And then we want to click File, Load Profile, Revters NCS Expert Profile. And this is the one that I um, show you guys how to install in my video. You will not have this from um, default by just installing NCS expert. So I would check out that video. We're going to press OK here. Now it's going to load up the VIN. And this is how you know if it's working. If you have something that says VIN faulty, you probably don't have pin 7 and 8 bridge for the E46. So now we're going to press on, once we did that, we're going to press start, which is F1. Then we're going to click F3 just chassis and then we're going to pick our chassis the e46 i did forget to mention this video should probably work with the e39 to any 38 that have any sort of um sensors that any that have wheel speed sensors so we're going to press e46 we're going to choose akmb 
and this is the part where it grabbed the VIN. Sorry, I was wrong. This is where. So it grabbed the VIN, and it grabbed the vehicle order. So if you get a thing that says VIN faulty here, you probably your pin 7 and 8 are not bridged. So now that we've done that, we're going to click back. We're then going to click process ECU. We're going to choose A, K, and B again. And then we're going to press OK. Then we are going to change the job. So we're going to press F2 to change the job. Or you can just click on it. And we're going to change this to coder gate in lesson. And this is reading the vehicle code. We're not writing to it right now. We're reading it so we can write it. So just double check that says coder date and lesson. We're going to press OK. And now that we've pressed that, we are going to go down and we are going to click execute job, which is F3. And it says coding active, coding ended. All right, awesome. Now we're going to get out of this. We're just going to click minus. We're going to open up a new Windows Explorer. We're going to go this PC. Then we're going to navigate to C drive. Then we are going to go to NCS expert with the T missing. Then we're going to find the work folder in all caps. Now we are going to open the FSW PSW FSW underscore PSW dot trace. We're just going to open that up. And then we can click more apps and click notepad. And now we'll open up. Now we're going to go in and change the following values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under. I'm going to go under edit fine, which is control F. And we're going to type in because because this list is very long and I don't want to go through and find it all. So we're going to type in R D K S. Press enter. That's not the one we're looking for. We're going to press it again. And we found it. We just want this one. I might have to scroll down a little. This one. So now what we want to do under RDKS, it says niche active, which means not active. And we want to change it to active. So we're just going to get rid of the niche active part. And now it should just say active. As you guys can see, it just is active. The next one we're going to do, we're going to do another control F for find. And we're going to look for can Sorry, it's can RDC. Can RDC is the one we want to make active. Or depending on your car, because this one says RDS, but depending on your car, it could be RDS or RDC. It shouldn't matter. So now we're going to change that one to active. And then the next one we want to do is we want to scroll all the way back up again and do edit find now we are looking for a k u s t should be enough sometimes it takes a little to play around with to actually find it when you're searching and you can scroll through it if you want but you can see i found it right here and we're going to also make that active and it's actually right under your rds case so you might want to do that one first i'm just going from a list of what i have online so that's the next one you want to do. It's this right here, A K U S T I K underscore R D K S. And it's right under the R D K S, the first one we did. I suggest just do that now if you want to go through it. And then the last thing we need to do is we're going to do another um, find. We're going to do find. And we are going to type in warn. And it should be, huh, you go up with it. Here we go. Now, we want to make sure Warn Medium RDS stays at piezo, or is it, whatever that, um, whatever you have, keep it there, but if you want to change it to gong, which is if you have like PDC, if your car is a gong, you can change it to the gong sound, but my car does not, so we're going to leave that alone. So as you saw, we changed those three different ones. The fourth one you need to change, it was RDC, R, 
DKS, CAN RDS or RDC, depending on what your car has. And then we changed AKUST RD, RDKS. We changed all those from not active to active. I'll put a link in, I'll put a, um, in the description, I'll put a little, um, box of showing all these ones because I know they're kind of hard to fo follow, but I will put a box showing all the ones you need to follow. So now that that's done, we can save this. So to save it, we're going to click file, save as, and instead of, instead of, um, dot where it's FSW underscore PSW dot TRC, we're going to change that to dot man and I'm just gonna spell it out I'm not gonna let it auto correct it that's already there so just just like I have it right there it should be dot man and now you're gonna click save and don't touch where it's saving and if it says it already exists just say yes you want to replace it all right now that you save that we want to go back to NCS expert and we want to click back to main and then we're gonna click we're gonna click start chassis KMB AKMB wait for that to read again then we're gonna click back and then here we're gonna go under process ECU AKMB okay and then we're gonna click change job to SG Coderin. Let's just double check. SG Coderin should be the fourth one down. And then we're going to press OK. And then we're going to press Execute Job. Coding active. And all your clocks are going to reset. And then it says Coding Ended. Now, once that's done, we're going to click Change ECU, which is F1. And now we're going to select MK60 and press OK. And then press OK again. And then we're going to go under Change Job. And we are going to select coder date and lesson. And make sure it's not coder date X, coder date and lesson. So you want to do coder date and lesson, press OK. Now we want to scroll down, go back and click uh, F3, execute job. Coding active, coding ended. And now we want to do the same thing, subtract this. Boot camp, uh, C drive, NCS expert, work folder, and then we want to open up that trace file again. And just tell it to open up with notepad and now we want to do edit uh sorry edit yeah edit find and now we want to type in r e i f and this one right here it's i didn't even type in the whole thing but it's r e i f and it's the only one that popped up for me and we want to change that I, i'm going to put this it's like a warn system to notify you we're going to change that to active. So now we're going to click back and just make it say active and not niche active. Now we are going to go under file, save as, FSW underscore PSW, and now we want to make it dot man again. So now it's dot man. We're going to click save. It's going to say it already exists. Yes. Now we're going to go back into NCS Expert. Close that out. Go back to NCS Expert. 
go under change job, then go under SG codeering, which is writing the code. So SG codeering, press OK. Now we're going to click execute job, coding active, coding ended. Now wait for the coding to end, it just ends, so now we're going to click back, we're going to exit out of here, and we're going to restart our car, and then I'll be back, and I'll be showing you guys it illuminating real quick, and then we'll be back coding it. So I just shut my car off, and then turned, waited 10 seconds, and turned it back on, and now when I turn it back on, you'll notice this. I have tire pressure monitor logo lights up for a second. That's saying it needs to be calibrated. Now see how it's staying on for a second? We need to calibrate that now with NCSX, uh, with IMPA, and I'm now gonna show you guys how to do that, so I'm gonna go back to screen recording. But I just wanted to show you that that now illuminates, and then it goes off, but now we're gonna calibrate it. So the last part of this retrofit is to go up, open up IMPA, and this is, we're actually calibrating the wheel speed sensors to know they're all the same. So now we're gonna press, if you're using the copy I have, you're gonna press um, Shift, and then the E46 should pop up. Then we're going to go under chassis, then we're going to go under DSC MK60. And then if this pops up, just press OK, and then you have to press OK again, that's fine. And now we're going to go under activate, which is F6, you can navigate on the bottom like I'm doing, and then we're going to go to RPA deflation detection system, so that's F2, we're going to press that, and then we're going to click F1 RPA reset. So let's press F1 and then it'll say all values were set to zero and then you'll notice on your dash your um, tire pressure monitor light will come on, your ABS light will come on, and your traction control light will come on. And that is really it. So now you have just retrofitted TPMS sensors on your BMW E46 for free and they will tell you if your tire is low. Um, I think this is an awesome thing to retrofit to any BMW that doesn't have um, TPMS sensors. It's really a really easy thing to do. It's free. It only takes about 15-20 minutes. And if you want to add that wire, you will have to click this reset button every single time your tire light comes on to recalibrate it. So when you add air to it, you'll have to um, open up IMPA, just IMPA, and click RPA reset. Or you can add the button if you would like to, and I'll put a guide on how to do that. The button is a little more advanced to do. That's why I didn't do it. I'm fine with just using IMPA every t single time because I have it um, consult my laptops so I have it for whatever but that is it for this video um, if you guys have any questions about um, how I did this or what needs to be done or any questions about coding or anything at all leave them in the comments below um, smash this smash the thumbs up button guys if you really like this video and now let's get on to the giveaway all right so now it's time to pick a winner for the interior exterior LED kit by Bimland performance so to do this we're gonna go to the video I'm just gonna click copy and you can see these are all the people that commented. And then we are going to go to commentpicker.com and we're going to click paste, filter out duplicate users. So every comment's unique. So 53 unique commenters. So it's going to randomly pick a winner. Congratulations to Ethan. Monts, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, hopefully. So he said, what he has done to his cars, 2001 MTEC 330i was auto with blown trans, but I 5 seed swapped it with a E36 ZF tranny, building daily and hit local drift events. Sick build, thanks for the idea, brother. Got three beamers, always learning. That's awesome. Um, so congratulations, Ethan, for winning the BMW interior and exterior kit by, by Bimlands Performance. I will be getting in touch with you. And if you didn't win this giveaway, I will be doing more giveaways in the future, so don't forget to subscribe.